up you guys welcome back to another one if you are new to the channel i am gold pony and so here i am today with the 2020 hyundai palisade here behind me and as i am finishing up my review of this one it got me thinking i had also recently test driven the 2020 kia telluride so i thought it would be a fun idea to do a little comparison between the two because they do share a lot of the same underpinning same eight speed automatic transmission same power plant producing the same power exact same wheelbase but in this video i want to go over the 10 key differences between the two of them in case you are considering one or the other so what do you say let's just jump right into it and let's do a countdown backwards just to be fun and let's start with my number 10 difference and so then to start my number 10 on my list is going to be the price the pricing does differ not by too much but slightly between the telluride and the palisade kia telluride is going to start at $31,690 the hyundai palisade is going to start at $31,550 but if you wanted to go with the top trim levels that is where it definitely differs telluride sx trim level which is the top trim level for that one starts at $41,490 then the palisades limited trim the top trim level for the palisade starts at $44,700 so definitely a bigger difference when it comes to the top trim level at least moving on to number nine although they do share the same 114.2 inch wheelbase the Kia Telluride does give you 0.7 inches of more third road headroom and the Telluride again also gives you three cubic feet more space behind the third row all in all overall cargo capacity comes in at 87 cubic feet for the Telluride Palisade comes in at 86.4 so they are quite similar when it comes to that cargo capacity however the reason the third row is slightly more spacious in the Telluride is because it does have more of a boxy more rugged shape to it whereas the palisade has i guess you could describe a more elegant design to it so for that reason it doesn't give you quite as much space as the telluride would moving on to my number eight is going to be the gauges both come with a standard or typical gauge setup tachometer being on the left speedometer on your right then there is a seven inch digital lcd screen front and center and again that is the standard setup however the palisade does offer something that the telluride does not being a 12.3 inch fully digital gauge cluster available that is going to actually come with the limited trim the top trim level of the palisade perhaps that is the reason why it is a little pricier when it comes to the top trim level but I love this gauge setup in the Palisade. Usually full digital instrument clusters come on cars like BMW or Audi just off the top of my head. I remember seeing those, but fully digital gauge cluster, that is going to be my number eight. And again, that's only available on the Palisade. Next on my list, I wanted to touch on the third row here. Palisade offers an optional power folding third row. Telluride does not. So essentially what that means is if you are in the back, you need a little extra cargo capacity. The Telluride, you have to manually fold down that third row to get that extra space. With the Palisade, you can simply press one button and it is gonna automatically fold down. You don't even have to hold the button down. Just press it once. Those receipts are gonna fold down. And actually, if you press that button again, those receipts are gonna fold back up without you having to do any manual labor whatsoever so that is yet another feature found on the palisade that is not available on the telluride making your way to my number six being the exterior styling and i touched on this a little bit already but the telluride does give you a more rugged look more of an off-road look part of the reason you probably saw that commercial of the telluride carving through some farmland that was pretty cool so it's a little more boxy it also has that plastic ground effects quite often found in suvs being the plastic front lip side skirts and rear bumper but palisade also comes standard with that plastic bottom but there is an available body colored front lip side skirts and rear bumper if you want with the limited trim and that is part of the reason why i believe the palisade is more of a luxury-esque version of the telluride telluride is more of an off-road version although to be honest they really are both equally capable when it goes off-road because again they share most of the same underpinnings both have all-wheel drive same wheelbase all that stuff but palisade does give you a slightly more elegant look with the swoopy light signatures up front as well as that large front grille really makes a statement although we'll say the back is nearly identical on both the telluride and the palisade they both have vertical taillights both have their names completely spelled out horizontally so other than that to sum up the styling telluride is more of an off-road rugged kind of look palisade is more of an elegant look next on my list my number five although it's not really the vehicles themselves but the warranty the warranty does differ slightly between those two and so they are nearly identical except for one simple thing being the anti-perforation warranty or the anti-rust warranty really the telluride or kia is going to give you a five-year 100,000 mile anti-rust warranty i'm going to say it that way because it's easier 
Palisade is going to give you a seven year unlimited mile anti rust warranty. So if you took your car through slightly too many car washes or something like that, you have a better chance of keeping it nice looking under warranty if you went with the Hyundai as opposed to the Kia. Now make your way to a very big difference between the two being the shifter. Telluride is going to come with a traditional shifter that most of you are probably going to be used to. However, the Palisade is going to come with an electronic shifter, meaning all you need to do is simply press buttons, kind of like the Alfa Romeo 4C Spider that I've recently reviewed, or I know Acura uses that setup as well for a lot of their vehicles, a lot of their SUVs. But yeah, the Palisade is going to give you that electric shifter. Telluride is going to be more traditional when it comes to that. Number three, once again, not specific to the vehicles themselves, but this may in fact be a very important decision point when it comes to making your decision. Telluride, as far as the assembly plant goes, Telluride is actually manufactured in West Point, Georgia, and it was actually designed in the US as well for the US market, of course. So everything is very US based when it comes to the Kia Telluride, as opposed to the Hyundai Palisade being assembled in Alston, South Korea. I'm not sure if I said that city name right, but if you look at the window sticker on the Hyundai Palisade, it is like 92 or 93 percent in South Korea so nothing wrong with that I'm just saying if you live in the U.S. you want to be a little more patriotic perhaps you want to go with the Kia Telluride as opposed to the Hyundai Palisade Next difference, and this is a minor one, although it may be important to some people, the steering wheel. Kia Telluride is going to come with a four-spoke steering wheel, very distinct steering wheel there. Hyundai Palisade is going to give you more of a traditional three-spoke steering wheel, a little sportier of a look. And honestly, I think the Kia steering wheel kind of reminds me of a larger SUV, more manly kind of steering wheel, if you will. I don't know if that's what they were going for. Maybe it's that rugged look once again, perhaps, but four-spoke versus three-spoke when it comes to the steering wheel, essentially. And then my very last difference between these two, and it is a slight difference once again, but it may make the difference for you. The Hyundai Palisade has the fastest opening tailgate available. Hyundai claims their tailgate opens in a mere five seconds. And I had to experience this. So honestly, if you have your hands full and things are getting kind of heavy, it does pay to have a quicker opening tailgate. So I guess that's kind of nice. Of course, with the Kia Telluride, it's probably gonna open nearly as fast, but it's not gonna be quite as fast as a Hyundai Palisade. So when it comes to my conclusion, both honestly are very very good picks. I'm sure the reliability are going to be great. Feel free to check out a Consumer Reports magazine when that comes out, when they test out the reliability there. But I'm sure going off of their history, I know the Hyundai Santa Fe XL had above average reliability, which are better than SUVs like the Dodge Durango and even the Honda Pilot, according to Consumer Reports. So I'm sure reliability for both of them will be quite nice. And again, they have the same underpinning. So essentially to sum it up, Telluride is going to give you a slightly more rugged design and slightly more cargo space, specifically in the third row, thanks to its slightly more more boxy shape. Palisade is going to give you a more luxury-esque design. Also, you're going to have an available digital gauge cluster, a power third row, and a little less plastic on the exterior if you go with the top trim level. So essentially, those are the differences between the Kia Telluride and the Hyundai Palisade. Hope that helped you guys. And so with that is about it for this one, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like the video and subscribe. Feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen there. Also, feel free to put in the comment section what videos you guys want to see next. And as always, appreciate you guys watching, and I will see you in the next video. Stay gold.